The 2016 ICC World 2020 final was played at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata on 3 April 2016 to determine the winners of the 2016 ICC World 2020 between England and West Indies. West Indies won the match by four wickets, thus becoming the first team to win the ICC World 2020 twice. The match recorded the highest attendance ever for an ICC World T20 Finals. Topic Background Prior to the tournament, there were concerns that some of the West Indies players may withdraw from the tournament with a dispute over pay, with a possibility of a second string team being sent. West Indies captain Darren Sammy had exchanged letters with the West Indies Cricket Board WICB expressing his concerns regarding the payment players were due to receive for taking part in the tournament. Sammy went on to say that, We want to play and will represent the West Indies to the best of our abilities. Before this match England and the West Indies had played each other in two ICC finals, the final of the 1979 World Cup at Lords and the final of the 2004 Champions Trophy final at the Oval, both of which the West Indies won. This was also the first final between two previous champions, England won the 2010 World T20 for their first ICC World Championship while the West Indies won the 2012 World T20. Both teams were drawn into Super 10s Group 1 alongside Afghanistan, Sri Lanka and South Africa. They played each other in their opening game on 16 March at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai, with the West Indies winning by six wickets with 11 balls to spare. West Indian opener Chris Gale scored an unbeaten 100 runs off 47 balls, including 11 sixes, becoming the first player to hit two T20 international centuries. In addition, immediately before the men's final, the West Indies also won the women's tournament with an eight wicket victory over three time defending champions Australia, also at Eden Gardens, which gave them the chance to be the first to win both the men's and women's World 2020 on the same day. Topic: Road to the final. Topic: <inaudible> England. Despite having been the 2010 World T20 champions, England had not advanced past the group stage of the previous year's World Cup and had included only one member of their 2010 champion squad, Irish-born batsman and captain Owen Morgan. Despite selecting a relatively inexperienced team, England did include players who had World Cup experience and had won Ashes series such as batsman Joe Root, wicketkeeper Joss Butler and fast bowler Liam Plunkett. After their loss to the West Indies, England beat South Africa with the highest successful run chase 229 in World T20 history before beating Afghanistan and then Sri Lanka to reach the semi-final. In the semi-final they came up against unbeaten New Zealand in Delhi. New Zealand made a strong start to be 89 for 1 after 10 overs, before tight bowling by Chris Jordan and Ben Stokes kept them to 153. English opener Jason Roy scored 78 off 44, a man of the match performance, to lead England to a 7-wicket victory with 17 balls remaining. West Indies Despite subpar performances in Test and OD play, the West Indies were confident heading into the tournament. Much of this was due to the number of players with IPL experience and that the majority were part of the 2012 champion squad, off spinner Sunil Naran and all rounder Kieran Pollard being notable exceptions. After prevailing against England, they defeated Sri Lanka in a rematch of the 2012 final and then South Africa. They suffered an upset loss to Afghanistan in their final group match, but with first place in the group already secured. In the semi-final they came up against the hosts India in Mumbai, and India batted first with Virat Kohli's unbeaten 89 off 47 propelling India to 192 halves in their 20 overs. In reply, Gale was bowled for just five and Samuels was dismissed soon after to leave the West Indies in trouble at 19 halves. However, power hitting saw the West Indies home, by seven wickets with two balls to spare. 
Late replacement Lendl Simmons led the chase, surviving being caught twice off no balls to score an unbeaten 82 off 51 balls and earn man of the match. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Match details. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Match summary. The West Indies started well with Badri bowling Roy for a duck with just the second ball and fellow opener Alex Hales being caught off Andre Russell in the second over. Morgan was caught at slip by Gale off Badri to leave England at 3.23 after 4.4 overs. Root helped England climb back into the game with 54 off 36, but he was caught playing an uncharacteristic paddle sweep off Carlos Braithwaite. Dwayne Bravo then took two wickets in three balls dropping England from 110 quarters to 111 sevenths. Batting deep, England managed to finish at 155 ninths after their 20 overs. Root was a surprising choice to bowl the second over of the West Indian innings but immediately dismissed both Gale and fellow opener Johnson Charles. David Willey subsequently had Simmons out LBW for a golden duck leaving the West Indies 11 thirds in the third over. A partnership of 75 between Bravo and Samuels kept the West Indies in the game and they were still a chance with 45 runs needed from the last four overs. Tight bowling left them 19 runs behind going into the final over, but Braithwaite hit four consecutive sixes off the first four balls from Ben Stokes to seal the win. Only three West Indian batsmen reached double figures, Samuels, Braithwaite and Bravo. Samuels finished with an unbeaten 85 off 66, the highest score in World 2020 final history. Braithwaite broke the record for the most runs by a single batsman in the final over of a successful chase Braithwaite's 24 beating Michael Hussey's 22 for Australia off Pakistan's Saeed Ajmal in the 2010 semi-finals in St Lucia. Samuels earned man of the match for his 85 not out for his second World 2020 final man of the match and his second final half century. Victory meant that the West Indies had won their fourth ICC World Championship after the 1975 and 1979 World Cups and the 2012 World 2020. It also gave them the honor of being the first to win two men's World 2020s and the first to win both the women's and men's tournaments on the same day. Match officials Umpires, Rod Tucker Australia and Kumar Dharmasena Sri Lanka. TV umpire, Mare Erasmus South Africa. Match referee, Ranjan Majigal Sri Lanka. Reserve umpire, Bruce Oxenford Australia. Post -match. At the presentation ceremony, Man of the Match Marlon Samuels dedicated his award to Shane Warne, saying, "'I answer with the bat, not the mic.'" This was in response to an ongoing war of words between the two players that dates back to an altercation at the 2013–14 Big Bash League. West Indies captain Darren Sammy criticized the WICB during the presentation speech, saying, "'I'm yet to hear from our own cricket board during the tournament. That is very disappointing." England captain Owen Morgan said that, "...we let ourselves down with the bat and probably fell about 40 short," and defended Ben Stokes bowling in the final over saying, "...it's not his fault." Following the conclusion of the match, the ICC named its World 2020 team of the tournament. This included two players from the West Indies team Andre Russell and Samuel Badry and four players from the England team Jason Roy, Joe Root, Joss Butler and David Willey. In St Lucia, the Beausejour Stadium was renamed the Darren Sammy National Cricket Stadium, following the West Indies win. On 25 April, the ICC reprimanded some of the West Indies players for their comments at the post-match interviews saying that certain comments and actions were inappropriate, disrespectful and brought the event into disrepute. 